Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we'll just be going over my thoughts on Kyoshin so far. And at the end of the video, I'll just have my unfiltered thoughts on the community's take on Kyoshin. The timestamp for that should be up on the screen now. Uh, to entertain you guys, I have an awesome Kyoshin Dominion match. But without further ado, let's get into this. So on July 22nd, as you all know, we got a new character named Kyoshin. Kyoshin is a hybrid samurai with a description that reads counterattacker and highly defensive, and is ranked as a hard character to play. Now personally, I don't feel that this character needs to be highly defensive at all. I feel that any playstyle you choose with this character, you'll find success with. This character comes complete with many tools to handle any playstyle that you may encounter. These tools include both neutral and chain bashes, superior lights, dodge attacks, undodgeable lights and heavies, a full block that has both defensive and very good offensive slash mix-up potential. And this definitely, in my opinion, is the most fun full guard to use. <laughs> Man, I know BP mains are punching air right now, dude. <laughs> but anyway, as someone that plays mix-up intensive characters a lot, I appreciate that I don't have to stay defensive with my full guard with Kyoshin. Um, on the contrary, I have three offensive options to come out of my full guard with. I also want to take a quick second to talk about feats. I personally do not have any problems with any of the feats. I think that they're fairly balanced, and um, I think that the default feats are very nice because, you know, they all work together. Um, or the first, second, and third feat work together, I mean, because they're all, you know, practically tied together. And it also encourages you to be more offensive, which is nice because obviously they're going for a more read-based and offensive style of gameplay. Now, aside from the actual moveset of the character, the devs seem like they actually had a lot of fun making this character, and yes, it is very, very outlandish and very unrealistic character design, but maybe that's just kind of what this game needs right now. Like, from his poetic voice lines and the Kaze Slice animations, and even, like, some of his armor sets are very, very anime-like, you know, and obviously that's what they were going for, and this character is definitely bringing a new tone to the game, and I'm cool with embracing that, because for me, I mean, this game was a little bit stale before Kyoshin's release. Um, so this is definitely a nice change. I appreciate the devs focusing less on meta and more on fun with this character, but that is all I have to say about the character itself, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this structured part of the discussion, and uh, now it's time for the real fun. So let's get into the rant. Pew! Oh, I tricked you guys. I'm not actually going anywhere. Still the same clip. I don't know why I did the pew noise, but I felt like it. Anyway, uh, I'm not really digging part of the community right now. Like, to me, this character is... Somewhere in between balanced and moderately strong, uh, Kyoshin isn't like on release Griffin, Kyoshin isn't BP, and you guys were shedding literal tears on Griffin's release. So the devs listened to you guys. They gave us the most balanced hero that has come out in a very long time, in my opinion. And now you guys are like, oh, this hero sucks, this hero is clunky, this hero is this and that. And it's like, what do you guys want? Like, how about we just never get another hero release again? Because obviously, nothing is going to satisfy you guys. Oh, wait, if they don't release heroes, it's lazy. But if the character isn't exactly what you want, yes, you specifically, you're not going to touch it. Like, no one is making you play the character. No one is making you guys buy the character. Just... Video games are supposed to be about fun. If you don't like the game, don't play it. Like, this community is so ready to be upset before a character is even released or revealed that we don't know how to be happy. Just try to appreciate the fun aspects that they're trying to incorporate into the game. This game isn't about realism anymore. It shouldn't need to be. But you guys just have to stop the needless tantrums. This is the same community that I saw call for a Centurion nerf two hours after his rework. You guys don't want to learn how to counter new characters. You want to be able to win with ease, but if you do win with ease, the character's weak. So, if they give you a challenge, they're too strong. But also, you don't want to learn how to counter new characters because that's too hard for you. So, you obviously want a character similar to maybe a character that we already have? Nope, wrong again. If they give us something similar to an old character, Warmonger, then Ubisoft is lazy, but 
I thought you didn't want to learn how to counter new stuff? Ah, see, I got you thinking now, huh? I got you using your brains. Man, you guys fucking kill me, man. Well, I'm gone. That's it uh, for the video, guys. I encourage you to throw your opinions in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear everyone's side of things, but let's keep it civil. Because uh, we all have valid opinions here and very fun ones. So stay safe, stay healthy. I hope everyone is uh, just doing good right now, enjoying the hero release. And if you're not enjoying the hero release, then I hope that you are still getting something good out of it. Like maybe you got your character up to rep 60 or 70 during the double XP event. So let's just keep our heads up and keep chilling, keep going. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.